Hey guys, this is Rye123 here, and I know I said I was going to make a scripting tutorial a couple days ago on Twitter, um, and I never really got around to it because what I was planning to show for that video was a bit more complicated than I had anticipated, so I'm going to go ahead and keep working on that, and um, in this video, however, we are going to just work on something else and what we're going to work on today is a regen button and I'm pretty sure you all know what they are they're those purple buttons that when you step on them here let me just give an example I really like the new layout or at least not really but I like how they put the play solo button actually accessible I haven't been on Roblox for a while but you all know how these work. You either step on them or click on them and they regenerate whatever is right here. Um, that's funny, that thing usually moves. Oh well. Oh wow, that's probably going to blow out the audio for my video. Oh well. Anyways, so yeah, I'm going to teach you how to make one of those. So, first things first, I'm going to get rid of this, and we're going to start from scratch. First, I'm going to show you how to make a clickable one, and then I'm going to show you how to make a non-clickable one. So, just go ahead, or, I mean, I said that backwards. I'm going to teach you how to make one that you walk onto, and then... I'm going to teach you how to make one that you, that's what I want, that you um, can click on. So let's just go ahead and make that a square and just for, let's just make it purple so that it looks like another one. And you're going to want to anchor your regen button so that they can't get blown up or whatever. Why is my surface tab closed? We're just going to make it smooth. There. There's your standard regen button. As you can see, though, it doesn't really do anything. So, first of all, we need something for it to regen. So, we are going to take our car we made a while back ago. If you don't have one, you can make a new car or you can just get one from going up here into insert and vehicles and just picking out a car. But you're going to go ahead and put your, here I'm going to rename this so we can find it, your regen button into the same as your car, the same model as your car. Um, and just to make it easier, you can go ahead, if your car has like a lot of parts, you can go like this. Let me zoom in. You can like put the regen button in a separate mod. Like it's still in the same model, but you just group together all the parts of the car. And here comes an airplane, which is really nice. I hope you guys cannot hear that. Um, I think there's going to be, like, I don't even know what they're doing, never mind. I just have, so we're going to go ahead and place a script in the button, like usual. Okay. So, first things first, we are going to have to state the model that we wish to clone. So as you can see, we have script.parent.parent, .parent, which will regen. Um, on second thought, I actually don't want to regen the button. So we're going to go like dot .car. Then we're going to say backup equals model cl semicolon clone. So what this is doing is it's getting this body, oh yeah, I named it body kit, not car. It's getting this body kit, and it's just making a clone of it. Then, we're going to come down to the bottom of our script and say, um, script.parent.parent.parent.parent.parent.parent.parent.parent.parent.parent.parent.parent.parent.parent.parent.parent.parent.parent.parent.parent.parent.parent.parent.parent.parent.parent.parent.parent.parent.parent.parent
dot connect no it was dot touch connect um for I mean untouched there we go then we're going to say function on touched p all right so let me just check to make sure that is right and we are correct i think hopefully this works okay so next first things first we have to check to make sure that the thing that touched it is a human because if you end up shooting the button with like a machine gun or something it can break easily so we just want to make sure that what touched it is apparent so we're going to say p dot parent dot find first child human we are not going to say that actually <laughs> sorry we are going to say if p blah 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 is not equal to nil then I forgot to make the if statement then hit enter maybe usually it makes an end for you but I guess not not today um what the heck okay um so basically what's this saying if if the part that touched it if it can find a humanoid in it then that means that it's a person and so we're going to go ahead and regenerate it but we need another um value called let's just call it this is kind of unoriginal but just say debounce equals false and we're going to do another if statement that says if debounce equals false then oh sorry you need two equals signs whenever you're doing an if statement ah planes okay so <laughs> sorry next so what a deb eh, I'll explain that in a second okay so then you're just going to type new car equals backup dot clone you're going to say let's see yeah yeah sorry new car equals backup dot cl dot semi not dot semicolon clone then you're going to say model dot remove which will take away the old car debounce equals true I'm not sure whether debounce should be true or false but if you set it up like I have it everything will be fine I don't exactly know what debounce means when it comes to scripting I just use it because that's like the thing people usually use so basically what we have so far is we have this setting to true then we have we're cloning the backup which is basically a clone of the original so we're cloning the clone <laughs> and then we are removing the old car and we will be placing a new car so that makes the new car so that it will be in the same basically it'll put it right back here and then we're going to say new car make joints I'm not exactly sure what that does I think it makes it so basically so that it doesn't fall apart when you respawn it but I'm not exactly sure then we're going to say wait well we're gonna make our button flashy then we're gonna say script dot parent 
Dot. Dot brick. What is it? Dot brick color equals. I don't remember how to do that. Maybe it's like this. Um, what's black? Oh, it's just black. Derp. Then we're going to wait. Uh, let's just say two seconds. And then we're going to change the button back to... Dot new. Then we're going to change it back to violet. Then, um, lastly, we're just going to set the debounce back to false. So if you haven't already guessed, basically what that does is it makes it so that the button can't be pushed repetitive times over and over and over again until we wait the two seconds which will just make it not blow up. Not really though. So let's go ahead and test it and hopefully I did it right. Okay, so let's just kind of like move this car over here. Yep, see? And for some reason it went gray but I think you get the idea. <laughs> Look, I'm stacking these cars on top of each other. Yeah, basically, you're going to want to move the car before you regen it. And then... That's why violet should be like that. There we go. Okay, so now if you guys remember, um, to make it clickable, we're basically just going to copy what we did with these buttons. You know, this thing. And put it in here. I mean, why retype it when you can just copy and paste? Let's see if that's right. Uh, yeah. Well, we have a few things to fix, but that's fine for right now. So then just also copy the click detector and put it in with our script into our button. Then there's a few changes we have to make. Gosh, or else this won't work. We have to delete this P and then we have to delete this if and one end and basically the reason we have to do that is because um, s since you're clicking on it basically nothing else except a player can click on the button so it'll be okay we don't have to actually check to see if it is a person but um, yeah since you're not like a gun can't click a button and mess it up so there you go and it turned purple because we fixed the violet so as you can see I was trying to make it so that you can buy a car with a button but doesn't really work right now <laughs> so yeah, anyways, that's the end of this tutorial. Sorry about all the airplanes. And be sure to subscribe for more tutorials. Hopefully. No, I'm just kidding. There will be more tutorials. And leave a like if you enjoyed and found how to make a regen button useful. And be sure to post a comment about anything you'd like to see when it comes to scripting or building. Look at all those cars I made.
That's crazy. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you later. Bye.